Suitcase clinic violence while waiting my turn. After surviving the line outside, see the other video for an explanation. You still have to survive the inside line. I was sitting on the chair waiting my turn to be seen when a man attempted to sit down on the chair between me and the next person. I explained to him that there was a person there waiting his turn, that he just went to the bathroom. The obviously drunk or medicated man hesitated for a moment and then hit me in the face. He kept throwing punches while I commenced doing the same to protect myself. We were separated by other people. Some student girl approached me and told me to leave and said that I would be blacklisted so that I could no longer come for treatment. You see, anyone involved in anything negative is to be expelled and blacklisted. I explained to her that I was the victim and that I was defending myself. Even the corrupt American courts of law do not punish both parties. Several witnesses came to my aid and argued with the student about the unjust policy and confirmed my position of self-defense. I was permitted to remain, but was lectured again about their policy. As if that would somehow assuage her ignorance, impotence, and shame. The suitcase clinic needs some streetwise adults to manage security a little bit. I am not advocating anything intimidating, just coherent. Don't get me wrong. We love the suitcase clinic and its services. We are thankful to them for helping us during rough times, but it does not mean we are not allowed to criticize the operational side of things. This tape will self-destruct in 69 microns.